By the end of this lesson, you will be able to write chemical equations to communicate the chemical reactions that are taking place. So when compounds react, they're chemically changed into new compounds, and we've been working on writing the correct formulas for those compounds. Every chemical change that happens can be communicated symbolically in a way that all chemists across the whole globe can understand. And this symbolic communication is called a chemical equation. Chemical equations combine formulas with other symbols to show what changes take place. So they explain what reactants or, or what compounds you start with, and then they show what products are produced by the reaction. So here are those symbols that you will see most frequently in a chemical equation. An arrow means to yield or produce some products. A plus sign, if it's on the left-hand side of an equation with the reactants, it means reacts with. But if it's on the right-hand side of an equation, it means and. The S in parentheses stands for solid, an L in parentheses stands for liquid, a G in parentheses stands for gas, and an AQ in parentheses represents the word aqueous, which means a solution of a compound that's been dissolved in water. A lot of reactions are done with the compounds dissolved in, in water because it facilitates the reaction uh, going to completion much more quickly and completely. So let's do an example together where we're given a chemical equation and we're going to go to the word equation. So if we were to read this out loud, what would it sound like? So we have ALS. We're going to write the adjective first like you usually do in, in English. So this becomes solid aluminum. Then we have a plus sign, which means reacts with. And we have CuCl2Aq. So the Aq means a solution of. And then CuCl2, this is copper chloride, but we have to keep in mind that copper is a transition metal, which means it needs a Roman numeral. So it is, if we uncross the charges, we can see that the original charge for copper was 2 plus. So it's copper, Roman numeral 2, chloride. The arrow means to produce. We have CUS. So the S stands for solid copper. Sometimes you might see copper metal. And the plus sign on the right-hand side just means and, because there's another compound hanging out with the solid copper. AQ means a solution of. And then ALCL3. AL is aluminum. Aluminum is in group 13. It always has the same charge, so no Roman numeral needed. And chlorine becomes chloride. So you, as the chemist, would say this equation out loud as solid aluminum reacts with a solution of copper to chloride to produce solid copper and a solution of aluminum chloride. Here are two for you to try. So hit pause and come back when you've written the correct word equation for each of these two chemical equations. All right, let's go over the answers to these together. The first one, CH4G. So CH4, you may have written carbon tetrahydride gas, which is fine. I'm going to write the more common name for this. CH4 is methane. Uh, it's a natural gas that you can burn to make a flame or heat. So I'm going to write methane gas. If you wrote carbon tetrahydride gas, that's fine. Plus, on the left-hand side, means reacts with. O2 is just oxygen gas. Because oxygen is always found bonded to another oxygen atom, you don't have to say dioxide. We're just going to write oxygen gas. The arrow is to produce. H2O, if you wrote dihydrogen monoxide, that's fine. Um, however, we're just going to use the common name here. So it's water, but it's in the gaseous form, and we call that water vapor. and carbon dioxide gas. So methane gas reacts with oxygen gas. 
to produce water vapor and carbon dioxide gas. Next one is a little bit more complex. I see an AQ coming up, so I'm gonna start with a solution of, and then BeCl2 is just beryllium chloride. Reacts with a solution of AgNO3. Ag is silver. NO3 is the polyatomic ion nitrate. To produce a solution of BeNO32 is beryllium nitrate. And AgCl, and this is a solid, and we're going to put solid first. Solid silver chloride. This is an interesting chemical reaction because you start with two solutions and you end up with a solution and then a solid white powder that falls to the bottom. The first one with methane gas, the methane is actually being burned in oxygen. This is a combustion reaction and it makes water and carbon dioxide. So let's go the other way. This is a little bit more difficult. Here's a word equation and we're going to write a chemical equation from that word equation. The most important and probably the most difficult thing here is making sure that you write the correct formula for each compound in this reaction. So here we go. Solid copper is just Cu with an S after it, reacts with, that's a plus sign, a solution of silver nitrate. So the silver has a charge of plus one. That's just something you need to memorize. Nitrate is NO3 minus. So we don't need to move any subscripts around. AgNO3 aqueous to produce solid silver and a solution of copper to nitrate. If you're feeling uncertain about what to do with a formula, stop and just do it separately. So we'll do this one separately. Copper two is two plus. Nitrate is NO3 minus. We're gonna cross the charges and we get Cu NO32. So we'll just move over here and write that down. And it's a solution. So we got AQ. So CuS plus AgNO3 AQ arrow AgS plus CuNO32 AQ. So you're going to do two of these. We're just going to do them one at a time so you have plenty of room to write this down. So hit pause when you've written down the chemical equation, hit play and check your answers. All right, solutions of sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide is just NaOH with aqueous and calcium bromide. Calcium has a charge of two plus, that ends up down here. And this is a little tricky. At the beginning it said solutions of, that means that both of the reactants are solutions. To produce, a solution of sodium bromide, that's just NaBr, and solid calcium hydroxide. Remember that calcium has a charge of two, so it's CaOH2. Please be sure that you have your hydroxide in parentheses, so it shows that there are two hydroxides, not just two hydrogens, and that's solid. Try one more, hit pause, and then hit play to check your answer. All right, solid lithium reacts with oxygen gas. Oxygen gas, remember, is always O2. Oxygen loves to get together with another atom of itself. To produce solid lithium oxide, I'm gonna write separately this formula for lithium oxide just so I can be sure that I get it right. Lithium is Li plus. Oxide is O2 minus. When I cross the charges, I get Li2O. So double check your formula there. And that is a solid. All right, so by now, you should be able to go from a word equation to a chemical equation, and from a chemical equation to a word equation.